does moisturize. Oh, that's good. Me next, Andre now. And I've got to say, using a Russian razor on you, Andre, is rather ironic. Mm -hmm. We've already done the moustache. That's absolutely perfect. We've done under the chin quite a lot as well. And let's now show you the ladies and gentlemen. This is a Russian razor. This is a Russian. <laughs> Make sure always dry the fingers thoroughly because what we don't want is to make any mistakes. Now I'm going to go against the grain. Yeah, it's working really well. This Russian steel is very, very good indeed. 1966. And there's a nice bit of stubble there, wasn't that? And down your neck. Absolute perfection. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's a very good piece of steel. I'm very pleased. And you've got very visible stubble. Very dark. Mm. Yeah, that's very, very good. Have to be very careful because it's a, an angle I'm not used to. Another time I'll have you sitting down. But that that's pretty good. Give it a feel. Not too yeah. bad. Not too bad. Good man. Good man. Do a little bit more. I'll call that a day because I don't have to exhaust you. <laughs> Standing up. <laughs> Standing up is tiring. Let's go to this angle for a change. Yeah, that's working nicely. Actually, I've, I've already done this side quite well, but I'm going to do a little bit more. Against the grain. You can hear that cut, can't you? Mm. Yeah. Little teeny bit under the chin. It's always a tricky area. Very tricky area there. Now this is not a perfect shave, but it's pretty good. I do just under your lip. Now that, that's it, good man. Yep. Yeah, you're hardly there anyway. Yeah. yeah. I know. That looks pretty good to me. Yay!